Over the last several months, I have talked quite a bit about Pixel devices. And of course, the most recent Pixel devices, the Pixel 6, 6a, 7, 7a, and now Pixel Fold, all run the Google Tensor chipset. Of course, this chipset is a slightly customized chipset for Google, uh, made by Samsung. It's basically kind of like an Exynos processor, but slightly customized. And this system on a chip is, admittedly, slower in benchmark, slower in raw power than some of the other systems on a chip on the market. If you took the Pixel 7 Pro and the S23 Ultra, had I thought ahead, I would have probably grabbed both of those devices, but I failed to do so. So imagine that my hands are in fact holding those phones. If you took those two devices and you ran synthetic benchmarks, the S23 Ultra is going to score higher. If you run intensive games, the S23 Ultra is going to run them better. It is simply a faster device. It has more available horsepower, more pound feet of torque to continue the car analogy. That just is the case. However, in normal day-to-day -day use, the Pixel 7 Pro does open apps just as quickly. It does navigate through those apps just as quickly. It does perform just as well in, what would you say, 95% of tasks. There are some edge cases where it struggles a bit comparatively, but it remains quite fast, and I have demonstrated this in many videos. And in these videos, be it about the 6A, the 7 Pro, or most recently, the Pixel Fold, I inevitably get a particular comment, a comment that is quite pernicious in my comment section. People will say to me, yeah, yeah, it is just as fast as that other phone now, but you give it a couple of months and do the test again, and then you'll see, of course, implying that for some reason, this phone is going to just get markedly slower over the next couple of months for whatever reason. Of course, no mechanism is given for how or why a phone would just get slower over time, but this is a thought, an idea that a lot of people seem to have in their head, that phones get slower over time. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a really old phone and a pretty new phone and we're going to launch apps side by side. We're going to compare in real world the performance of these two devices and let's see if it's true. Do old phones get slower or is it more complicated than that? So here we have the Pixel 2 XL this phone, I believe, is roughly 32 years old. I think it just had a birthday. Happy birthday, Pixel 2. Just turned 32 years old. I've owned this phone uh, from the very beginning. I purchased it at launch. It's one of my uh, first Pixel devices. It might have been my first Pixel device now that I'm thinking about it. This, of course, is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And in every conceivable way, this phone is far, far, far superior to this abacus of a device over here. And so what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to do some speed testing here. I'm going to launch apps side by side. And we're going to see if there is some chasm of a difference between these two devices in terms of just launching applications. Again, Pixel 2 XL, which Google here says came out in 2017, and if I do some quick math, that would be six years ago. Six years old phone versus this still brand new phone, the S23 Ultra. Let's start with YouTube. Let's launch them both at the same time. Okay, that's a result, right? S23 Ultra did indeed launch quicker, but not all that much quicker than the Pixel 2 XL, right? That was pretty close. I think it was closer than maybe you'd think it was going to be. How about, let's do Discord next. I've been spending a lot of time on Discord. Again, a win for the S23 Ultra, but not by all that much. How about the Play Store? Because I'm going to need to install some apps to be able to continue this test. Again, a slight win for the S23 Ultra. How about YouTube Music? Not a super heavyweight application. But again, very, very similar results. Let's do YouTube TV, one that most phones do struggle a little bit to open quickly. And boom, just like that, 
almost identical. We're just installing apps as we go. What about Instagram? Very, very similar, virtually identical in fact. New Pearl Jam post always gets a like. I think I've pretty well proven here that just launching apps, like just launching normal everyday applications, the speed is going to be incredibly similar, despite the fact that this is on paper, not just a little bit slower, but like way, 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 way slower because apps haven't really changed that much in six years. Guys, they're pretty much the same. You can see that my battery is absolutely plummeting though. The battery I'm sure on this thing is not in a particularly good place. But there are of course some places where you can see the speed differential. Let's go back into the Play Store and let's look at something like Pokemon Go. Okay, we're going to install them both. And what you're gonna see is this phone's gonna get it installed a lot faster, I would imagine. I, I would assume it's going to install it quite a bit faster. So we're done on the S23 Ultra. We're still cruising on, and not really not that far apart. That wasn't too bad, actually. It's actually closer than I thought it was going to be. Again, apps just haven't changed that much. So the act of launching applications, even with a really old phone like this, it's still pretty fast. By and large, the apps that most people use really haven't gotten much bigger. They really aren't taking up that much more RAM. Like they're taking up a bit more, but it's not like, you know, two, three times more RAM, like on average versus apps from six years ago. Most of the stuff is pretty similar. And as you can see, performance is pretty much exactly the same. Like I wish I had video footage of the Pixel 2 XL when it first came out, but I promise you, it feels pretty much the same now as it did six years ago. That's because not only have the apps not changed all that radically, the processor isn't getting slower. Like again, through what mechanism would a processor get significantly slower over time? Things could break down in the thermals where it's not able to cool itself well. I mean, I guess that's possible, but on an ARM processor, that's really not gonna be too much of a thing. Maybe in like peak gaming performance, that would start to become a problem. But again, it's not just going to get slower. I have a whole drawer of old phones over there and I guarantee I could pull each and every one of them out and do the same thing. And they're all gonna be pretty much exactly as fast as they were when they are brand new. So why do people think that phones get slower? Well, it's because most people are bad at maintaining their phones. Most people fill their phones up. They have no free storage at all. They probably installed apps that could potentially be malware slowing things down. They're just not maintaining their phone well. Factory reset the thing, and it's probably gonna be back to its normal speed. Could have also physically damaged the thing. Again, people don't maintain their phones all that well, but if you do, you can see that that phone is in relatively good physical shape for how old it is. If you do maintain it, and as you could see there, I don't have a ton of apps on. It was probably factory reset, honestly, probably two or three years ago at the earliest. I'd probably installed some beta version of Android on it at some point. And that's not been a thing from that device for a while. So it's been factory reset a long time ago. Wipe all that software stuff off, and guess what? You have a phone that's just as fast as when you bought it. And that's going to be the case for devices that run Tensor as well, for devices like the Pixel Fold. So for all these people that keep telling me that the Pixel Fold, the Pixel 7 Pro is suddenly going to get much slower. Well, I've got the Pixel 7 Pro. It's almost been a full year and guess what? It's just as fast now as it was a year ago. It's not going to happen. You're wrong. Honestly, I'm making this video as a shortcut for myself. When I get those comments, I'm just going to take the URL for this video and reply with that, and this would be my response to those people. So perhaps if you also see those sorts of comments, you can also just reply with this video because I think it fairly well demonstrates the nonsense of the claim that phones get slower over time, that their hardware degrades in some way and they get slower over time. And look, anyone out there that wants to say, well, that was a Snapdragon, do the same thing with the Tensor. I'm gonna need you to explain to me how a Tensor would be any different than a Snapdragon. I need you to break down how that hardware would be any different at all. It wouldn't be is the answer, but if you're gonna come at me with that stuff, I'm gonna need some evidence. I'm gonna need you to prove to me how that would change the equation in any way, shape, or form. Again, it wouldn't. So there you go, guys. A little bit of a ranty video, if you will. Hopefully this was enjoyable, maybe educational, and maybe useful for you. 
down the line. I will see you on the next video. Subscribe for more. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.